Yes guys, and a welcome from me, this is Championship Manager 0102, the free man game. We have come to the conclusion of Season 139. And there's already a spoiler there for you, isn't there? Because we're on my team, you can see we made it five EPLs in a row. And it was really ours from the moment go, to be honest with you, with Man City. Um, so that's five premierships in a row. Now the interesting thing about that is, what I've done there is I've equaled a record that I already set that Ian matched uh, of five top flight titles in a row. You can see then there's my five in a row. Ian got it. Um, Ian matched. I first got it with Spurs in the early uh, early part of the um, the 2100s. Where did he, uh, Ian got it there, 20, uh, 2128 to 2132 is when Ian took his five. You know, it, it, it is quite an achievement, I think there's no doubt about that, and it's such a hard achievement to get, because you're not talking of a one-off a one -off season, you're talking five fucking seasons, but of course that's going to make next season even more challenging, because, you know, if I can try and break that record and make it six on my Todd, then obviously that is, you know, that'll be, that'll be epic. So, Manchester City. Uh, where to start with Manchester City? Um, since the last update, so I'll tell you what we'll do, because we, we've not got over the update yet, so we'll start with the League Cup. That's how the League Cup finished. Um, we retained it. We beat Southampton, Pep Southampton, in the final with Goris our man of the match. Now, Goris, um, you know, he, he, I think in total it's about 70-odd games for everybody. What a player. 32 years of age, and he'll probably leave this season. Um, I have listed him. He's been absolutely remarkable, and you could argue maybe that it'd be silly to sell him because that experience adds so much to the squad, and I might even do that yet. I may even do it. Uh, I kept two last season. I think it was Santos and Goris. Santos let me down. I fucked him off. I might keep Goris and fuck him off if he struggles to start the next uh, season. He is going to start, incidentally, though, with a bit of a ban, as you can see. Prick. Um, so, uh, it was a it was a harsh result on Pep, I guess. Uh, but you know what? What goes around comes around. If I remember rightly, he started off looking bright on the old stats in this game. And I just couldn't get a word in. Um, and it's funny, really, because we, we made two substitutes, as you can see. And, uh, well, they were crucial substitutes, weren't they? They really were crucial. So, uh, that is the League Cup. We have retained it. Over to the FA Cup now, then. And that went to... Well, well, well. We have retained it. It's the third successive FA Cup. The record on FA Cups uh, is me. I've got that when I was Chelsea. And that is something like... There it is. That was me at Chelsea. So, four, five, six... Four, five, six... Eight FA Cups in a row. That is going to be fucking ridiculous to beat, I think it's fair to say. Um, so, the FA Cup went to me... Uh, with quite a one-sided uh, final in the Battle of Manchester. Now, um, I know that during that game, we had a few technical issues. I think Ian, it was going slow for Pep, and, well, for, for Ian. And, um, I mean, I don't think it was too severe because he said he weren't able to make any subs uh, during the game. Um, and he made two subs at half-time. But I just think he, you know, I think... It, personally, I think... It, you know, I can deal with things like that when you have games like that. And I think probably he was just pissed off, you know. But for me personally, that was an absolute remarkable result. Uh, even if Ian didn't make any subs, he's still with that same lineup. He's still with the same setup, same team that he wanted. But, um, you know, we came good and we retained that for the third successive year. Over to the Champions League. Now, at the moment, you're looking at a sense of deja vu because this time last season, we won the domestic treble and we lost the Champions League final to Pep. And Pep denied us a quad. And it weren't just the quad that Pep denied us, actually, because we'd won. It was, uh, remember, it was an even year last season. We won the World Club Cup and we won those other little fucking second rate competitions the Intercontinental, the, um, the Super Cup, the Charity Shield. There was theoretically eight trophies available last season. We won seven of them. Pep denied us the eighth. Uh, of course, the World Club Cup is only every two years. So this season, Pep wasn't in it. Uh, and whoever wins the Champions League this season will go into it next season. 
and the Champions League went like this. <laughs> it went like that. So the quad was there for us. Uh, so Hamilton 2, Manchester City 3. Uh, Pep was gutted. Gutted. He started off brilliantly with the, with some uh, early shots and the goal, of course. He was, he was two up. He was two up. And uh, that's why Goris is uh, suspended. Um, yeah, it was another harsh one on Pep. It really was a harsh one. But for us, you know, we claim the Champions League. Um, and the Champions League, of course, uh, just to remind you, you see, that's now the third time in the last four years uh, it means it's another trophyless season for Ian. What is Ian going to do at Manchester United? Um, he'll be livid. Generally speaking, he'll be fucking livid. Now, we've already opened the, the window for the new season. And we've got some deals over the line. Um, I've made one deal with Pep. I've brought in a young kid. That's all I've brought in. Alan Clark, who might make it, might not make it. There is a method to the deal that I've done with Pep because you're going to see the deal you're going to see the player I sold to Pep in exchange for this fucking <laughs> kid um, I'm, I'm going to have given Pep quite a decent player and uh, you'll see it was this guy here Fury Plea um, he did fuel a move or two um, and he was getting unhappy at not playing and it was it was a difficult one I just opted sometimes it's just sometimes a bit easier to, to off the player um, you may no, you won't recall because this was after the update. I offloaded Ryan Cruz to Pep. You may recall, looks a beast, Ryan Cruz, but he was a real fucking cunt. He was a real pain in the ass. You always know if a player is uh, has the potential to be a real cunt, like a bit like an Elka on the ODB, and that is his future. He isn't um, ha happy about his future. He's just happy with conditions at the club currently. That is a bad sign. Um, in terms of um, what else Pepper's brought in, he's brought in. Um, no, bro, on me. Sorry, apologies. That's me. Sorry, that's my players out. Sorry. So we sold our Greek defender. He didn't make it. And because I've sold uh, the Greek defender, I might keep Goris. So the, the fault was already in the process. Uh, that was Santos that I was talking to you about. I got rid of Santos because he just wasn't cutting it um, at the older age. You know, and then you can see five games. That is unacceptable for me. So for me, so far, very little, uh, very little activity. We did bring in Oleg uh, Lukčević, if that's how you pronounce it, um, because I'm just looking at the date. Then was the third of the March, the third of January, 50, 53. So you haven't seen this guy. Very happy with this guy. Really, really happy indeed. And of course, I add that to um, to Kingsley Aroka. Who I think is fucking solid. I think is absolutely solid. Even though he's 28. Um, we're looking at maybe selling Ruben Bleeder. Hasn't really done it. He's getting a bit unhappy. Um, and I may still offload him yet. We repurchased Gullimore Mansilla. He's one of our old players. Uh, I think he's got some key attributes. He's built some key attributes. And he's very versatile. And the reason um, I'm going to fuck him off is because Castillo is leaving. He's going to Atletico Madrid Castillo. But on the subject of me, you know, having won everything, I I'm going to show you who our star man was, and there can only be one man. Look at that. No, uh, 82 goals in 54 appearances. It was his finest season for me yet. Uh, he exceeded um, his previous records of goals, uh, assists, man of the match awards, and it was all in slightly less games because I did a little bit of um, squad rotation. How fucking amazing is he? And even the guy that came in for eight games uh, still... Managed 12 goals and an 8.56 rating. You know, it, it, it was superb. It really was. Uh, he was definitely our standout player. Lenore Sanchez, another 24 assists in 43 appearances. <coughs> he matched his best season for us. There's no doubt that Sanchez has another season in him at the age of 30, well, where he'll be 30. Absolutely brilliant. Really, really pleased. Let's go to Pep now. Now... Pep managed to get runners up, and uh, that was really due to the very last game of the season. Uh, Ian drew with uh, Lincoln, whilst Pep won his game. But Pep would have played a weakened team, I would imagine. It was out of his hands in preparation for the Champions League. Um, but Ian blew it. Ian just blew it. Um, and Pepe means that uh, despite losing the Champions League, he would not need to play qualifiers in the Champions League next season. Ian will. 
So, let's go to Pep then and have a look at uh, his signings. Um, so, we said about Plea. Uh, he's brought Sergei Agbo. Now, this meant a lot to Pep. Pep beat me to this guy. And this meant a lot to Pep. And if the truth be told, I only offered 16 grand a week. And I haven't even checked this. <laughs> That's why you got him, you cheeky bastard. Um, uh, and a bit like one of the reasons I sold Plea. I'm sort of going off players, defenders, that are defenders, defensive midfielders. I want them to have a set position. If I want to play them in defensive midfield, I feel they've got the uh, attributes for it, then I will, regardless of what it says. So this is one of the re reservations I had about buying Agbo. Every time I see that position, I think of ODB Mark Hughes. Um, now, I do know he will turn into a class player because I remember his pre-gen. I think there's actually two Cameroonians knocking about. No. It's not, I thought there was another one knocking about who was also a defensive midfielder uh, slash striker. Maybe I'm wrong, but I do recall him and he was an absolute beast. So, you know, that, that could backfire. But he is from Cameroon, which means he's probably going to miss some of February at the African Nations. Uh, let's see who else he's brought then. Vincent Anelka. Um, I, I don't, I, I can't, I can't say that that's going to be a good player. I mean, I look at uh, Decisions 3, Determination 2, Pace, not got any pace. I, I think I'd, I, I would fuck him off, Pep. Uh, Ryan Cruz, we looked at him. Uh, and finally, Claude Ruiz. I didn't realise Pep had bought him, to be honest with you. But look at that, he's already he's already um, offloading him. I remember him. I think I had him, didn't I, at Man City? I'm pretty sure I did. No, maybe I'm wrong. I could have swore I had him. Okay. Okay, so I see what Pep did there then. He, he obviously went for a blind. I mean, he's not that bad a player. Um, but quite a surprise purchase. Oh, he's, saying he's already selling him to Valencia. I think he probably just bought him to hopefully steady the ship, maybe, for the rest of the season. But, you know, that's Pep. So let's have a look at Pep's best player. Uh, I, think it, I think we know who it's going to be. It's going to be his usual striker, who he is selling. Memich, Emil Memich, another 68 goals in 57. 8 5 1. Um, Pep selling him, why selling him? Probably because he's turned 31. I mean, in theory, he could probably get another year out of him. In all fairness, um, I'm quite surprised. Um, so, by far, that was Pep's best player. Um, and Oliver Monnier has been absolutely phenomenal for him at left back. Did he buy him? No, he won't. You know, he's obviously groomed him from the reserves. And, and I think give credit, Pep, uh, give credit to Pep where it's due. Because... That is a really good return oh, on a left back. Thirteen assists, eight one two. Uh, and you know, last season he, he really stepped it up. Not as many games, and I think Pat will be really, really pleased. And of course, a quick gl glance there at the um, the Messi regen. Now maybe Pep was going to move him up top. You know, I'm quite surprised that he's, he's selling Memic. To be honest with you, he'll have strikers to come in. Well, it won't be him, Tadic. See, he's, he's not good enough. Gonzalez. Dumbaya. Ah, uh, it could be Dumbaya, actually. There, I remember him getting in. I think that's, um... That's uh, Didier Jogba region, I believe. Uh, do you know what? But again, he's, he's, he's going to be uh, African nation, so that could be costly when it comes to February. Um, I don't know. I don't know what Pep's thinking. Really don't, but who knows. Let's go to... Uh, in fact, let's have a look at the player that Pep has... Fucked off. Um, of interest, De Oliveira. Yeah, did the right thing there. We know about Clark Piccola. Yeah, did the right thing. Dubias. Yeah, did the right thing. Yeah, I think he's um, Pep's finally after 139 seasons. He's getting the hang of how to play CM. Yeah, he shouldn't. Oh, what was that player? He should never have had half those players. Let's be fair. Let's go over then to Ian. Ian, um, well, he's only made one signing since our last update, and that is this guy, Rodriguez. Um, excuse me, one million pounds. Uh, he's young, and I think if he can um, have a season in the resis, who knows? That would be a bit of a worry for me, personally. Didn't, didn't see that before. So we'll see how, how he flares. But I would strongly suggest, uh, think, shall I say, 
that there's going to be some more ins and outs at Manchester United. Let's have a look at the outs then. Um, we saw, he sold one earlier in the season. I'm surprised because I think he's quite a class player. Okay, uh, Elvind Fuhan, the Norwegian. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, so very little activity for Ian. Uh, Ian's best player, I think, by far, is uh, Koeman's. 8 8 2, 54 goals in 40 appearances. To end up, uh, to, to end up with an 8 8 2 average rating, add into 8 8 1 last season, and not win a trophy domestically for Koeman's. You got a feel for him, really. You got a feel for him. 107 goals in two seasons, and he didn't win a single damn thing. He'll be fucking livid as a player. Um, he could go. I think 32. He's going to be 33 when November camp arrives. I don't know. It's a tricky one, really, for Ian. It really is. Um, that being said, I think uh, Penk has come in like three games, six goals, 9-0, brilliant. 28. Is he good enough? It's a, it's a tricky one, really. Um, the left back for Ian here, eight two zero, oh, ten assists. Left back, yeah, he looks solid, don't he? He looks really solid, and I think he'll be massive for Ian next season. He's, I mean, it's his first season, and I think he'll be really pleased with uh, his contribution. Uh, and the last one we'll look at very, very quickly. Another striker. Then um, now this is, as I said, this is two thousand and thirteen update. Was Santa Cruz knocking about in two thousand and thirteen? Because that would Looks suspiciously like Santa Cruz, but never mind, never mind. Right, let's have a look now then at... Um, um, what's it called? The international status. So, Ian is um, no one. He's not been anybody since um, he left the end of the World Cup. It's just Pep leading the way. And, um, well, Pep... He's currently going through World Cup qualification. I thought we were going through Euro. Sorry, I apologise. We're going through Euro. So Pep has already confirmed his qualification with two games to spare. Um, I actually thought we were going through. The, so I I genuinely thought we were going through the um, the Euros. Let me just check then who Ian's uh, last international game was. Um, game. So it was Germany. Yeah, he was sacked then as manager of Germany shortly after the Euros. Um, and I think it makes a difference really when when you don't when you're not the international manager because you can spend a lot more time on, on your club and it's done me the world of good at Man City. There's no doubt about that. For me, Man City then. Um, that's the formation I'm playing with. I've got a little bit more attacking. And, uh, and I'll show you something, right? So I said to you a minute ago about um, if a player I feel has the attributes to play in defensive midfield, then I'll place him there. Let me show you. Uh, this Colombian, he's, he looks the bollocks, really, but he just hasn't been performing in central defence. So I played him in defensive midfield, and I had to at one point because I had um, I saw Cruz and Grasso was injured, and he started to really kick in some performances. And you can see um, he's got a few tick boxes. And uh, I think for one or two games, I played uh, Christians. Is it Christi Yeah, Christians. And he's got the attributes to play there. I mean, 20 in passing, 20 uh, in marking. I don't know what your views are about playing a, a straight central defender in defensive midfield. And with that in mind, if they don't play, if they don't play in that slot, then I'll place them in that slot there. So moving into defensive midfield. I think on my agenda, despite I sold Pep Cruz, um, I think I'd like to try and get myself a defensive midfielder, a natural one. Ortiz, he's another one that um, has played a little bit more advanced for me this season. He was a big buy for me from Barcelona. And uh, he's not done a bad job in 50 games. Um, I think I'm probably going to offload this Swiss pile of shit. Irritated by Mike C. Well, fuck you is what I say. I may keep Goris for another season. Um, if I sell Rife and Goris, I'm probably going to want to get myself another... I mean, do I need another defender? We've got some quality defenders, really have. So maybe I don't need it, in all fairness. Um, and that, that's it, guys. That, that is our three-man game. You know, season 140 is almost upon us. 
Uh, and will it be, an, as I said, will it be an even year? We'll have the World Club Cup, which, to my understanding, I'll be in. Um, and obviously, I'll be in the World, uh, I'll be in the Intercontinental and the Super Cup, as well as the Charity Shield, which will now be against Pep. Um, having beaten Ian in the FA Cup final, it goes to the runners-up in the league. And let's just cast our mind back to the Charity Shield. It'll be a rerun because. Did Pep finish second last season? He must have finished second last season then. Otherwise I wouldn't have played him, would I? Uh, let's just check that a minute. I think we should check it. Yes, he did. So so Pep's finished second now then for the last three seasons. Now let me remind you, you can probably see it by that. This is now 31 seasons without the Premiership title for Pep. 31 seasons is fucking disgustingly awful. Um... You can see he last won it back in the year um, 21-22. And uh, in that time, I was still Chelsea. I've left Chelsea. I've taken over Man City. Uh, took over Man City around 21-45, I think it was. You know, that's crazy. I mean, it, do, do you know what's bizarre about this game, right? This, or this chapter for me, is it feels like I've been Man City forever. And yet... I've actually only been Man City for nine seasons. I took over in 21-45. I took over after winning the league with Chelsea. We took over here. We went down to uh, second division. We won the second division. Then the first division in 46. We won the Premier League at our first attempt here at 47. We lost the Premier League the following season to Man United. And then we've had our five back-to-back -back ones. So this must really frustrate Pep. I mean... I, oh, I don't know. I'd say that frustrates Pep. I'd say um, what's frustrated Ian is two trophyless seasons is, is, is awful. It really is awful. Uh, if we just have a look at what at me for a minute. So the last five seasons, last season has, or this season just gone has been our, our our most successful Premier League triumph, as you can see by the points there. I mean, you can see where, when we finished. Um, in the second division, 45 in 2005, points. We were really, really strong. Um, we won the Premier League in 48 49 with only 92 points. Uh, that was the first of our five, of course. But yeah, we, we, we look really, really strong. Um, and as you can see, when we took over, um, when we took over Man City, they had just been promoted from the third division so their manager went that was a big decision to leave Chelsea it really was uh, and one last thing that I haven't even checked and I'm going to see it now Wolves have finished fourth now where the fuck are Chelsea oh my god what the fuck so Chelsea have finished down in 16th um, we said last season uh, Chelsea not finishing fourth and Wolves finishing fourth uh, is at the end and they only just did it though Tottenham they've always been a four since the days of me being Tottenham but Wolves finished fourth last season and they did it again this season well done to Wolves um, I can't believe Chelsea I really cannot believe Chelsea now we've got to look at this haven't we no one's going of interest I think, uh, you know, the interesting thing is, they've still got the Zlatan regen, Osterberg. 21 goals. He ain't going anywhere anytime soon, is he? We've all got him on our shortlist. They've also got... Now, I remember this guy because I was manager of him. I want my getting this guy if he becomes available. Uh, Ivan De La Cruz. Now, that is, I believe, Buschet's regen. Uh, he's had a bit of a shit season, though, hasn't he? He's had a shit couple of seasons, but um, let me just check something. That's probably why. Look at that. I'm not even going to bother. Okay, and who's that guy? It's just the right. So, yeah, it looks like the days are gone now then of, of Chelsea. I think it's fair to say they have firmly gone. The job did come up, actually, and I joked to Pep saying, Chelsea job's available. And he responded saying, well, why don't you apply for it then? <laughs> Cheeky little motherfucker. He would, lo he would love me to leave. He would absolutely love me to leave. Uh, and I know Ian would as well. I feel with with, um, with Pep, I think with, 
we've made a little bit of headroom, I feel, with some signings. And I don't sell a player to Pep to help him. I sell it because I do what's good for Man City. So him buying play, I think, is a good signing to, to build him. I still think... I mean, I offered him a deal, actually. I offered him a really good deal to get that Messi regen. Now, you would argue, why would Pep sell Messi regen? And Pep even said, why would I sell one of my best players to you? I'll explain why. I offered him uh, three players... Uh, and the three players would have generally improved his squad uh, to what he would be losing in Messi. I offered him a bleeder. He wanted bleeder, and I know he wanted bleeder. I know he wanted it, which is what I was offering him. Um, I offered him Castillo. Offered him Castillo. So I wasn't offering him aging players, you know, quality players. And I was offering him, uh, <laughs> believe it or not, I offered him Ruda. So I offered him three solid players to strengthen his entire squad in exchange for me. Because I feel that those three players against me, I think me getting that messy regen would, would, would balance it. But he wasn't entertaining it. So I think he's cut You know, there's still some questionable bias in Pep. Uh, for Ian, as I said, I think we'll see some signs from Ian. Um, I think we have to, to be honest with you. Um, I think Ian will look at it that he just can't compete with this formation or this my squad. And I think one of the biggest things that I've got on my side, ahead of Pep and Ian, and there's no doubt about that, is this guy. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. And if uh, and if you didn't think that that guy was uh, single-handedly winning me the title, then probably isn't, because it's that guy as well. And then, of course, you know, if we're going to get really into it, that Ruder, who can become world-class, is a Colombian. I mean, what the fuck is the deal with Colombians? You know, um, that makes me laugh where you, you, they make that player. I mean, Pepe's selling him though, isn't he? You know, again, I'd question Pep's selling of Mimic. Who knows? So that is the three man game, guys. Season 140 is here. Oh, what can I say? Uh, this, it just don't get boring, does it? And I've got no intentions to leave Man City. So uh, fuck you, Pep. I know you want me to leave. You know, and as I said, We've only been at Man City, what did I say? Um, eight years. Did I say eight years? Nine years, sorry. Sorry, nine years. Nine years. So, um, you know, and that's what makes it so fucking crazy. It really does make it really crazy. Let's just take a look and we will see that. Yeah, so it'll be ten years next season. Um, and as you can see, we've not had any international um, since the World Cup with Holland. We haven't really done much on international for a while. Not not anything for long stints. They just haven't really appealed to me. You can see we just go to Chelsea in 21-18. Um, so we were at Chelsea for a good uh, 26 years. 26. So 26 years at Chelsea. Now I know we had 25 years at Liverpool. Uh, Spurs, I think we had about 10 and a half or 11 and a half. We had a 10 and a half at one of them, Peterborough or Spurs, and 11 and a half at the other. Um, and Swansea, what do we have at Swansea? Swansea, we took over in 2013. We had five years at Swansea, and we managed to uh, complete our objective, which was win everything once, including the champions. I need to check that actually, Champions League. I'm going to check that in a minute. Um, so it was 11 and a half then for Spurs, and it was. No. No, it was 11 and a half for Peterborough, sorry. Hang on a minute, I'm trying to work some help. No, it's wrong, I've got it wrong now. It was 12 and, it was 12 and a half. 12 and a half at Spurs. 12 and a half at Spurs, 11 and a half at Peterborough. Um, and of course, before Peterborough, uh, it, Liverpool. Liverpool, we had uh, 25 years. And of course, we all remember who I was at the very, very start of the game. We were, of course, Scunfort, where we had 54 glorious years. So, that is... No, let me just check something. Let me just check the Champions League very, very quickly. Just need to see, did I win it with... Um, did I win the Champions League with Swansea? I thought I did. I might be wrong, though. There, I did. There it is. Yay, we did. Right. And that's it, guys. That is the three-man game. And until next time from me, take it easy.